Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am playing with the September Tag of the Month kit by Lori at Piles of Paragraphs. Um, here is her business card, but I will I will list um, all of this information, um, her Etsy shop primarily, in the description box below so you can go and check out her shop. She puts out a kit every month um, and it's always full of really fun things as you can see here on my desk. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna do my take on it. Now, um, I have to admit, I was super excited when there was sequins in this kit. And as soon as I opened it up, I was like, well, I am making some sort of like little shaker thing, right? Um, so this is my own, you can't even really see it, um, white tool uh, that I, I just cut a piece of that. But this piece, isn't that gorgeous? comes in the kit. And so I am going to attempt something I've never done before. Uh, this is a piece from the kit as well. And I have a circle die. I am going to attempt to cut paper and tool and um, whatever kind of fabric, you know, this is probably tool as well, I guess, just, um, you know, thinner or smaller weave. I'm going to attempt to cut that on my big shot. So we will see what happens. I'm hoping this works. Um, but what I'm going to do first is uh, tape down my die onto this paper so that I, I make sure um, it cuts where I want it to because it's kind of the exact right size. So I just have a piece of um, washi tape here. And we'll kind of get most of the sticky off. I'm just going to tape that down very gently. All right, so I am going to take all of this over to my, you know what? I wonder if I should tape that down as well. Nah, it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. I'm going to take this over to my big shot and I will be uh, right back. All right, so it actually worked. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to. So there is what we have. And you can't really even, you can kind of see the um, glittery polka dots. Uh, it's just not showing up in the camera so well. But um, what I'm gonna do is we'll put the fabric over there. I'm gonna go ahead and ink up the edges. I'm just using some garden patina um, archival ink. It's just sort of the right color. All right, and then um, I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and um, sew this all sort of together. Um, and I'll hopefully remember to leave an opening so I can add my sequins. So. I'm gonna take that over with me and let's see, maybe I can scooch it off my desk here. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take this over. I'm going to sew up that circle and then I will be right back. Okay, look, look at how stinking cute that is. <laughs> I probably, sorry, that probably wasn't the best thing to do right in your face, but look at how cute. Can you see the sequins in there? It's in there, I promise. It's not as shaky, but look how cute that is. Oh, I love it, I love it. All right, so now let's create our tag. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is actually uh, cut my tag shape and we will use that corner to cut the other side. All right, make sure it's lined up well. There we go, sort of probably close to okay. <laughs> All right, let's add some ink here. And I know that I want 
this to be my focal piece, right? We've got some of this gorgeous, like aqua color um, cheesecloth, which is super cool. And then uh, this is gonna be, I'm gonna use that at the top and probably that as well. Sorry, I'm sort of out of frame here. Um, this is a really cool piece. It's like, it's got some really cool texture. It's almost like a fabric paper. So maybe we'll just do some uh, collaging here of sorts. Obviously we can, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? I have issues with with it not being perfect, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm just kind of getting a rough idea here of where I want to put things. Sorry, sort of out of frame again. Uh, let's see, this can go up top and we'll just trim around after. Um, after we glue everything in place. Just getting, getting an idea here. Okay, and maybe this here. And this piece sort of right in the center, maybe, like that. And let's see what that'll look like. I'll put the, I'll put some of this behind it. Obviously I'll trim that down, just getting an idea. Yeah, I think that might be pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and ink up some of these pieces that I can, I can whoops, go around at the end, but ink up the ones that I won't be able to, you know, necessarily get to here. Let's see. And there. There. And let's sure how well this will, oh, that's pretty good. All right. Okay, so let's glue this piece down first. I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac on this because I'm not sure, it's almost like a vinyl maybe. Um, I'm not sure the backing, how well it will um, stick with the Barely Art glue. So we'll go ahead and use Fabri-Tac or whatever. I'm not sure. I think this is three in one at the moment. I, I sort of just buy whatever is um, least expensive on Amazon at the moment when I need it. <laughs> um, or if I happen to be at Hobby Lobby, I will use a coupon, but um, late, you know, Hobby Lobby wasn't open for a really long time, right? Finally, back to some semblance of <laughs> normal, I guess you could say, right? I I'm not sure if we will ever actually see, you know, normal again. Um, hold on, hold on. Did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. That's okay. I'll just add some ink here. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that.
we go. And then, let's see, we had this piece here. Not that way. I get, <laughs> get myself confused when I ink just part of something. do. That's okay. We'll, we'll work it out here. I uh, didn't really figure that correctly. Oh well. <laughs> That's okay. Something got shifted and um, that and then this piece um, everywhere. <clears throat> All right, I wanted some of this here, but now I need something up here because I didn't figure that right. So let's see. All right, now. <clears throat> so let's see, I need probably just one piece. Oh, what the heck, let's just. quiet there. Um, I was just kind of concentrating. <laughs> I just put some glue underneath that 
that's cheesecloth. And then we can add our adorable little shaker circle. That is just so cute. <clears throat> All right, let's cut off our extra bits here. There we go. All right, and then let's get rid of this. And I think I'll just use my stapler here. And we'll make a little topper. I love this. I'm not, oh, I see. Does that come out? Does that come out? Maybe, I'm gonna try. No, maybe not. Nope, nope, definitely, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not, it just unravels the whole thing. So let's not do that. Just trimming off the ends. There's like some floofy stuff inside there. You see that? And I thought maybe, maybe it does come out, but it certainly doesn't come out um, the way I was trying to do it. So we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. And let's see, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna fold it. Hmm. No, let's do this. Each piece individually so it's all the right way. All right, okay. And then this piece, hopefully my stapler will be able to handle all of that. Oh, I guess, well, yeah, we'll just do this and then I think I'm gonna just glue it on there. I think that'll work. Hold that for a second, and then I thought maybe, um, 
Maybe I could put something in the... No, I don't know. I don't think it needs anything. All right, look at that. Ah, that is so cute. I am in love with that. Lori, that is an amazing little kit. Look at that. Ah, so cute. Thank you so much for creating that for us, Lori. And I will put all of her information in the description box below so you can go get your own kit for September. The October kit just released, I think last night. Um, so I have that in my cart and I will, um, you know, I'll try to hold off until October to do that one. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.